create a small login app, right? Uh, let's like today we're just uh, creating a very small um, login page, right? Not taking it very much seriously and creating a professional design. But yes, um, I'm just uh, today creating a, a very basic version of any login app, not like uh, the fu fully functional login uh, page, okay? Because we just started creating these um, Thunkable apps, right? I really don't want to get into very much details of anything, but yes, today let's create a small, uh, smaller version of login app. It's just like a baby version of it, right? So before everything, I would just like to tell you all guys that um, if you've not been watching my series yet, please do go back to my channel, Folks Hub. There are multiple playlists. Play around them. Watch all the videos in sequence if you're starting off with anything right to understand the concept and the content better okay so yeah let's get quickly started with this um i'm very excited to start this and yeah let's see how our login app goes so we'll explore some properties today we'll explore a few components today yeah so starting off with the screen so let's rename this as login um login login page Okay, so let's give a background color. Let's just, shall we choose or yeah, I'll just give a orange color today. <laughs> okay, so we can actually give background picture also. I'll just quickly show you how to give you a, give a background picture, right? So which picture are we getting now? let's say some gradient picture gradient background images so i i think i'll just quickly use this i don't know if this works out or not but if something like a vertical background was there then it would good it would look good right Hmm. Okay, let's just take this. Most probably this should work out. Copy image address. You can just right click on it and get the copy image address. Okay. So just place your cursor here. Paste the URL here. Okay. So yeah, it is working out. Great. This was the background I took. Okay. That's it right sometimes what happens is you'll get data images and those data images do, doesn't really quickly work so only with the, the https links definitely they work okay you will have to check right so which link is working out and you just have to paste the link that's it copy image address and paste the link here it definitely should work out and it shows the thing here okay uh, so if your image has some pictures on it, maybe like doodle backgrounds and all, if it is not getting adjusted properly, then you can actually use background picture, resize mode, cover, contain, stretch, repeat, center. Okay. So vertical alignment, horizontal alignment, right? You can change this for uh, the alignment of the components, right? So we all know we use uh, space around, right? So I would just like to use space around and then, um, in next sessions, we'll discuss about margins and paddings. Okay. So today I'm not really discussing about it. And um, horizontal alignment, I'll, I will let it be center. Okay. Then, then we have borders. Yeah, you can definitely add some borders. It's, it's up to you if you want to do this or no. Right. So radius, um, I'm just giving five pixel radius. Let's give a white color. Um, border so that it looks cool on the blue thing yeah like it, it just looks like it seems like we are giving some gap on the edges right so i just wanted this kind of a look so i'm just giving this if you want uh, more you can actually give five so you'll get more um, effect right but yeah however uh, this is uh, fine yes this is all on the screen um and the simple properties of the screen, right? So let's not get into other details over here. We understood all the properties of the screen now, right? 
then uh, we all know you you will be having labels so we already have created such kind of a thing on uh, code.org if you remember like in the app development section there we did all of this so if you have not been watching my series yet you can absolutely start with the playlist right and you'll get to know what is a label but label is something which can actually display some text on it right to display some text on uh, the screen you can use label you can just name this as um, like name label okay then let's write full name okay so you can give any size no issues and then line height let it be one and color you can change the color to white so i don't know on blue i mostly like or prefer white uh, it looks good for me i mean i don't know why i, I like it and then font style it's up to you if you want to give it alt font weight uh, i will i mostly prefer choosing font weight bold because i i like bold letters on the thing so alignment it's definitely up to you left or uh, anything center however the label is like the container it it doesn't really have any padding spaces so you need not bother about the text alignment now because it is only full name so height of the label width of the label if you want to change you can change but i don't really see any need for now so i'm not changing and then now um, margins paddings so we'll discuss about these in our next session okay so definitely you can give width okay border so radius so i would just prefer 4 for now mm, let's give a blue thing no it's not seen or visible okay better solid right and uh, yeah you can actually duplicate this label also so how to duplicate the label is just beside this you have the duplicate option here okay click on it click on duplicate so it just duplicates the label that's it okay like you can see here you can rename this as um, let's suppose a password label okay like this is a login page so and i'll just write password okay and the rest of the other things just just got replicated right now then to take the input from the user we actually use text input boxes right so i'm just grabbing a text input box place it inside this right now this will be this will be name text input okay and uh, type here is fine and if you want to style it you can actually style it you can write the text also if you want to give the text and the uh, keyboard type you can say like if it is email address then you can give email if it is uh, numbers thing numeric okay if you want to show phone pad you can use that mm, and then uh, height with it is automatically given right i think this is this is better right i really don't want to change anything on this in specific today yeah definitely i would like to give the border and i'll give the same color so that uh, both match right and they blend with each other okay and then i'll just give another text input for password or i think i i could just i'll just delete this thing i'll duplicate this one right without wasting the time we can actually do this yes duplicate is a wonderful option which we can absolutely use whenever possible and wherever possible okay so i'm just placing this under the label uh, the all the adjustments and all you have to do on the left component section itself right then it will be very much flexible and easy okay i prefer doing it there and then um, <clears throat> this is a uh, password text input so i'm just writing password text input okay and i need not change any other thing right so this is all lastly we just need a button so i'll just place a button 
whenever you see the red bar if you drop it there it actually gets its position okay so what i will do this button will be login button and on this let's write login okay and text color i think it's good so i just want to change the blue color a little bit because uh, it is not blending in with this uh yeah most probably this thing it's okay i'll just um, keep this and then i'll just change the font bold font italic and a raised button i want okay so not only this i will also give the borders so i'll just give this for color color i'll give gray color only because it blends in with all other things all other stuff solid right good cool now everything looks like in the it's like something like a monochromatic thing right now so if you like this you can keep this okay i i know it feels like it, all the components are spread out over the page just because we gave space around okay we'll discuss about the space around and other stuff also some other day right but yes uh, for now this is okay okay so and then i will just um, create another screen here naming the screen as um, demo screen okay so i'm not giving anything over here basically so whenever user clicks on the button right he will be redirected to demo screen that's it okay i'm just uh, coding it something like that right so let's go to blocks now when login button click so login button when login button click then what do i want to do i will have to navigate to demo screen right so let's give navigate to demo screen so instead of doing this thing you can actually uh, do something like this also what i will do i'll go to design i'll go to demo screen let's just place one label over here okay so i'm just placing a label here i don't think it is shown right yeah now this label will be like this on the on this i'll just show data label okay so the data will be displayed right so let's also make this a little bit like functional right navigating to demo screen after navigating to demo screen on the label will show so when screen one starts like when demo screen initiates okay so opens we can say when demo screen opens then on the label we have to show both name or or we'll just show uh, we'll just show name but not the password okay so on the data label set data labels text to what i'll do here i'll just store that inside a variable okay initialize app variable name to go to text and then get this empty string block so this variable is nothing but it's like a container we already know about variables very clearly right so if you don't know about this just go back to my channel watch all the videos then you'll get to understand right so and uh, variable is something it's like a container which can hold or store some value in it right now i'm initializing name what i will do whenever he is clicking on login button right then i will just go to variables and get this set app variable name to so set app variable name to from the name text input i'll get the text okay so i'll get this one name text inputs text okay so this is a getter block actually it gets the value and it will set it over here now on the demo screen what i will do go to variables i will get this app variable name thing okay so whatever is inside the app variable name that will be set on the data label now okay let's quickly check this out what exactly is happening you can right click on the screen and click on clean up blocks to clean up everything live test this 
so yeah wow it looks good right i like it so let's give um veena then password something something like this okay login see it shows veena right my name it is showing my name i just wanted to do that and i did this right so it's not necessarily this we have to do and it is not a fully functional login page also because it doesn't really check anything right this is just like a baby version of it like i told you i just wanted to show you the design part of it yeah so you understood some properties now labels uh, properties and text inputs properties and screens properties buttons properties are pretty much clear right so this is what right let's explore slowly so that you are not having any confusion okay so in the next sessions i'll come up with some more information with um, margins paddings and the blocks so that you all can relate them right so yeah this was this was all for today's session and thank you so much for watching this video please do like comment share and subscribe to my channel folks have bye bye guys have a great day all thank you so much for watching